Well, spring training should have started already for Major League Baseball, but an ongoing labor dispute between players and owners could delay the start of the regular season. And that could have a major impact on businesses and jobs right around the Coors Field area. Fox 31's Rogelio Mares is live in Lodo to explain. Kim, the start of the 2020 season was delayed by COVID. It's been a while, in fact, since the 90s, that a season's uh, start has been delayed by a disagreement between owners and players. Well, if this season were to start potentially delayed, it would impact everything you see around here, bars and restaurants surrounding Coors Field. The fans will tell you how they feel. Go play for the love of the game. What are we paying for? What are they paying for? An experience, part of which includes something not very far from Coors Field. We're still cranking for the most part. <laughs> food and drink before or after any game. I think it's literally two and a half blocks away from us. Near and around Coors Field, you'll find a sports bar or restaurant where fans would usually flock to grab a drink or bite on game day. Any afternoon game, any evening game, we are filling our entire restaurant before the game starts. At Ultrea in Union Station, their slow season just ended. We're just getting off of January and February, which is like the slowest time of the year for us. They'd normally look forward to the start of the baseball season, but a possible delay to the regular season looms as negotiations between players and owners continue. Once the baseball season, baseball season starts rolling and we are starting to get those times where we should be getting really busy, and we're not, those are the times when people are going to be like, what's going on? Where, where are all these people? Those people would usually show up between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. on any typical game night. Missing those couple hours, even if it's a couple hundred bucks, a couple thousand dollars, that's, that's, a, that's a big deal to us right now. A big deal that could mean big losses if these seats aren't filled and teams don't play ball. With what the world has suffered in the last two years, I think you should go swing a bat and help your community out. So uh, there is a little bit of hope for the opening day to start in its typical time, usually around late March. That relies on owners and players reaching a deal uh, in their uh, collective bargaining agreement by February 28th. A lot. That's 10 days away. It seems like a while, but it's only 10 days. Reporting live outside of Coors Field, Rogelio Modis, Fox 31. Oh